I'm going to do. He looked at um, a software solution that we already had and looked for ways to leverage that uh, solution. And that solution was eSponder. And that's a, a product that we have used. We purchased that through our Urban Area Security Initiative, UASI program, um, some years back. The developer of that is uh, Mr. Rob Wolf, and I think he is part of the Tampa Police Department family. He may have a gun and a badge. If he does, I don't really want to know about that part. But <laughs> for the most part, he is a, a family member, and he's here for any of the uh, large events that we have. And he and Assistant Chief John Bennett have worked over the last two years to put this, this program or this thought and turn it into a program that the officers are using today. Uh, Eastbonder was uh, purchased by the company NC4. And eSponder is something that we have used through the years as an in incident management software. We use it every day, the officers do. For any special events we have, uh, large or small, we've used it for all of the Super Bowls, we use it for Gasparilla, and we just recently used it um, with the RNC. And as I said, Rob, being a part of our family, is here for every one of those events. And I'm not sure he ever left uh, my conference room during the RNC. He was here the, the entire time. So they looked at what they could do to, to develop that eSponder into a tool that could be used for the everyday crime fight. We analyze everything in this department. And all of that analysis and what comes out of it is then sent out to the officers. So the idea was, how can you get that information out to the officers in real time? Let them do the analysis. And that's where Safe Cop came in. And what Safe Cop, and I'll give you just an overview of it, because Assistant Chief uh, John Bennett is going to give you a demonstration of it in just a minute. But every officer has it available on their computers. And it is a mapping system where the officers can go to a map, and they can look at all the crime in the city, or they can go all the way down to their particular zone of responsibility and all the way down to grids. They can search in that for all past crime. They can uh, do overlays of sexual offenders, habitual offenders, uh, juvenile offenders. They can look at the, the date, the time, the type of crime, the method of operation. Any of that information uh, they can search through that map. They also can develop bulletins in real time. And in the past, as I said before, information, the officers or detectives would get information that would go through a, an analysis process, synthesized down, and put out in a bulletin which could take days to do. Now the officers can do that in real time, and you'll, you'll hear a real time success story of how that, um, that has occurred. But that was wonderful as well, the ability to do those bulletins in real time and to search uh, past bulletins. Also an element of it that has been very, very successful is a blog. In the past, police officers have lived off of what we call zone folders. And you put memos in there, this is what happened, these are the crimes that are going on, this is, the, you know, this is what's occurring in my zone of responsibility. It's somewhat archaic and it's very, very slow. This is a blog for the officers where they can go on and in real time communicate with each other about the criminals in their area, the crimes that have occurred, any information they're getting from sources out on the street, all of that information is entered into this blog. And it's something that the new, you know, the younger officers are used to, to working with, and it allows them to get that real-time information and to share information with, um, with everyone. Now,